you also do one in a year? I do, yes, I do. Um, and it's nice to be back. Thank you for having us back. Well, you, it's literally by popular demand, I get tweets from every week from your fans asking to get you back on. So we, and obviously it's our anniversary next week, so we wanted to get the best guests back on oh, the well, show. Happy anniversary for next week. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I've got to say, a big congratulations on all the projects that you're working on. You've got a brand new single that you released earlier earlier this week. Yeah, yeah. Kind of just, um, it was entirely thanks to the fans, you know, they've been very supportive this year. And obviously I kind of took a break from releasing music this year as well. You know, normally after an album every year, response have you had so far um, towards single? Have you had a lot of people kind of buying it and getting some good positive feedback? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice, you know. Um, for me, I think um, it's just nice when you, when you go on Twitter and Facebook and stuff, you know, obviously I, I kind of, it was a surprise for, for the fans. I didn't really announce that I was going to be doing it. It was kind of an unexpected thing. And then when you, when you put something out and you see like a really big response from it, a like great response, just stop kind of doing something. You know, we recorded it like two weeks You must be excited because you, you've announced a 50 UK date tour. Yes. Now, yes. that's yeah, pretty yeah, full yeah. on. I'm sure I'll have to get me fitness up for that because it's going to be incredible. <laughs> but, um, no, it's going to be incredible. You know, my, my favourite part of my job is being on stage. So to be able to have 50, I think there's more than 50 dates now actually. Uh, on, like, we're, we're announcing more as well. So it's, um, it's amazing. You know, I can't wait to get out there next year. It's going to be a new show compared to this year. Completely different. We're going like everywhere. Length and breadth of the country. So uh, we're down here in Cornwall, so we be coming, you're coming near us, I know you're going to be at yeah, Exeter. I think so. I don't know the exact date, but if anybody wants to find out where we're going, you can log on to um forward slash live, and you'll get all the dates on there and everywhere, how to get tickets and things. So I'm sure, yeah, I think we are coming down there, actually. Because we've got you down at Exeter, which is very close to us, um, on Thursday the 1st of May, and you're going to be performing at the Corn Exchange. Yes, I am, yes. The tickets are available so people can come and see you here at the South West, we can go to Exeter and watch you perform. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean I, do you know I haven't actually been down there before to perform? So I'm looking forward to it. I think I've been to, um, first place I've been down there is Torquay, so I'm looking forward to getting down there and seeing everybody. It's a really nice place, Cornwall, it would be great to get you down and, and hear what you're doing now. Yes, I mean, I, I, and I've heard it's a beautiful place to see as well, and, and, and the weather always seems to be nicer down there than everywhere else. Oh, I don't know, I'm not too sure about that, but <laughs> the rest is inaccurate. Now, obviously, it's the 10th season of The X Factor. Um, are you returning in any way? Are you going to be part of the, the celebrations? Yeah, I will actually be, um, I can talk about this now because it's been announced this morning. Um, I will be on this week's show um, on Saturday night with a um, mentor and Nicholas, Nicholas McDonald, he's singing one of my songs. So I did a mentoring session with him this week, did some filming with him. Um, and yeah, so I'll be on this week's, I'll be on the 10th anniversary episode. That's because I mean a lot of people, there's, there's some former people who have won the show that have kind of said that, looking back at it now, that you know, they don't like the X Factor or you know, they've got some kind of issue with the show. Are you quite positive and do you embrace the show? Yeah, I mean I, it upsets me when people come off the show and, um, and you know, are negative about it because I think at the end of the day, whether you're a fan of the show or not, if you've been on the show and you've used that as your break into the industry, then I don't think it's very fair that once once you're kind of in the public eye to then go and slag, slag off the show. Yeah. So I've, I've always made a point of never doing that and I'm always forever thankful to the show. You know, I've gone on to do different things after it and, you know, I've done amazing things after it as well, but none of that would have came without having the profile and publicity from X Factor. So, you know, I'm forever thankful to, for the show um, and also that I had the opportunity to be on such a big show. You know, it's one of the biggest shows in the UK and I'm proud to be to, 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 have, to, to have started my career on that. You know, I know it gets a lot of negative publicity, but it was, it was a brilliant thing for me and a huge experience in my life that I'll forever be thankful for. 
anymore, you know. So, yeah, I mean, it, ups it upsets me when other people drag it off because I think it's a bit childish, you know. Well, definitely. It's going to be great to see you back on the show. Can't wait to see you um, in the weekend. And uh, you, obviously you know you've got a lot of fans and some of them have, when they found out that you're coming back on the show, um, run to ask a couple of questions. So if I can put a couple past you, if that's okay. Yeah, of course. Um, Ella Fawn said, oh, of all of the venues that you've previously played, um, which has been your favourite? Oh, um, that is a funny one, actually. Um, I think the in regards to your exercising obviously I guess you do a lot of that um, Bob and, um, and Amanda have both kind of wanted to know are you enjoying exercise? Yeah I mean I, I, I've always exercised since, since before since before I suppose before even I was a singer I was always in there I went on a health kit when I was about 16 and I've always kept into it I do a lot of running a lot of kind of light light weight training nothing that's like bodybuilding or anything like that but light weight training and yeah I, I feel it's important in my job to be fit you know, I'm on stage for almost two hours on a night, um, and some of the show is very up tempo, very high energy, and I think the last thing people want to see is me panting, puffing a um mid song. You know, so I think it's important to to not 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 just about looking good, but to be fit. You know, um, so yeah, I, I I love exercise and and uh, yeah, it's kind of my release, I suppose. And also, finally, I just got to, if I can get you to say a big mention, she's, um, uh, I know she's a very loyal fan to you, um, you probably know, um, Julie, Julie Arnold. I do, yeah. And bless her, she always listens to the show, so if you can say a big hello to her, I know it'll make her day. Hello, Julie, Ar Julie Arnold, um, thank you for being so supportive, and I'll hopefully get to see you soon. That's brilliant. And if people want more information on, on the tour, and of course the dates, they can go to joemccaldryofficial.com. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, as well, um, your, your brand new single, they can get that on iTunes, Amazon, Play.com, HMV, Tesco, and, and all the other kind of places. So that, that's it's available. It's all available online now, Amazon, the iTunes, everything like that. So, yes, if, you, if you're feeling Christmas, you go and get it. <laughs> Joe, thank you so much for coming back on the anniversary. You're definitely one of the best guests that we've had on, so to get you back, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much, and good luck with the tour. My absolute pleasure. Thank you, and happy anniversary once again. Oh, thank you very much. Take care, Joe. Bye. Bye-bye.